Parisian walkways on a ukulele could sound like this. And we've obviously added a little bit extra into it on the improvisational side as well. But what we're doing is we're going to look at the basic melody as well as the chords for Parisian walkways on the ukulele. It actually works really, really, really well. So it's maybe not the song we associate, but it's a really good one with lots of very cool techniques that guitarists normally enjoy, but are really nice for ukulele as well. Now, please make sure you've got the copy of a PDF that has the ukulele tab with you. It should start with, a, it says 6, 8 in the top corner, and it says 10 full. Now, this is fret number 10, and you'll notice I've numbered my fingers. Please try and use the same finger numbers as what I'm using. And also rely on the fact that you can ladies got dots. Like over here where I'm tapping, you can see underneath there's a double dot. That double dot is very important on all ukuleles and guitars. Double dot means fret 12. So instead of counting one, two, three, a whole way up there, number 10, I'll just go to 12 and go back to you much quicker. Now the 10 full means I'm playing the 10, but I'm bending it to sound like the 12. So I'm going to go. And you can see the bend there. It's a lot of, a lot of string movement. And I'm using fingers 1 and 2 to support the bend. So I'm not bending because that can happen. That's not cool. But if I bend with all three fingers, I've got a lot more strength with all three fingers. So make sure you're bending with the third finger, with finger three. Fingers one and two are supporting the bend. They're giving strength to it. Pinky, he's just hanging around. Now, we want to get the timing for the first two bars perfect. Because if you got the first phrase, or well, actually I should say first four bars, sorry. Um, once you've got the timing for the first phrase, that timing is simply repeated as you go over the following four phrases. It's basically four phrases. And this is phrase one. Okay, now let me just take you through that. We started with a fret number 10, like we said with finger three. Finger one and two is supporting it. And you come down to a normal 10. Then you go to 8, 7, 8, 7, and there we move the first finger back. So slow motion. Make sure your timing is the same as mine. And then the following phrase, that 9, 7, 10. 9, 7 is on the third string. And number 10 is going to be on the top string. So let's try that together now the whole way through. You've got your finger ready, finger 3 in the 10th fret. Three and four and we got that. And there's a rest. You'll see this little funny squiggly sign with a dot next to it in bar number three. That's called a rest, in other words, silence. And we go 12, 10 quite quickly. So one more time now, the whole first phrase like this. Two and three and four and And once you've got the timing for that, you've actually got the timing for the next, because the next phrase starts at 10 without a bend, and you go. And we get to number 8, and you'll see it says full. So instead of going, we now do a pre-bend and bend him down. So slow motion for the last one. It's the end of the, the first line. It says 8 full. You pre-bend. In other words, you don't hear this. You don't hear that. You just got the string up there. You have to trust that you bent it enough. That takes a bit of practice. And you pick it and release it. Okay, so it's B. And that's your first line complete. Okay, well, first and second line complete, first, second phrases. Let's try it the whole way through in our slow motion. Two and three and four and.
And over there, I fluffed it, um, the one note on the, t- uh, the 10 9 over there. I'm sure you heard it, but I corrected it very quickly. Now, I was going to redo the video, but I thought, no, it's a very important lesson to learn to be able to play through mistakes. We're human, we're allowed to make mistakes. What we're not allowed to do as a band member or a ukulele or any musician is to stop. So if you fluff something, just smile and wave, pretend it's the bass player. <laughs> okay, but please don't stop. Now what I've taken you through so far through over here is the first two phrases of Parisian walkways and you should be able to work out the rest the whole way through. So read the tabs. If you get stuck with something, drop me a WhatsApp, um, email me via my um, video channel. I'll be happy to share with you where you maybe perhaps might have had a bit of a problem with or gone wrong. But before we finish with the video, I want to look at the chords next as well. So we're going to focus a bit more now on the chord section which is going to look something like this. First of all, our chords, for example, A minor, you know these shapes, I'm sure they're pretty easy, I'm just going to walk you through them. A minor, middle finger, make sure you use the same fingers. Now, on the sheet, on the PDF, it says D minor 7. Now, on guitar, it's easier to imply minor 7s. So on ukulele, we have to compromise a bit because we've got two strings less. So the D minor 7, we're going to play like a normal D minor. Finger 1, finger 2, Sort of looks like F, then the ring finger comes in underneath that middle finger. F with the G bass, the third chord, simply just that. So basically, your chords are much more simplified. We're not going to worry too much about that. Um, C major 7, for example, is going to be normal C. That is C major 7, and of course you may use your ring finger, although I would encourage that. The chord diagrams are on the second PDF. So you're going to have two PDFs for me. You're also going to have a picking pattern on the one with the lead phrase. So the one that's got the whole sort of uh, string bending. The one with that on actually has the actual picking pattern, which I'm going to walk you through now anyway. It's going to sound something like this, but I'm going to focus on both left and right hand so you can see the picking pattern as well. Now, I'm not using a pick for this. Um, basically, for ukulele, I prefer the sound of the fingers. It's a bit more subtle, a bit more smoother. And um, if you want to use a pick, you may. It's not a, a big deal. We can also sort of deal with that in class, or you can ask me a question. But basically, let's start at the beginning. A minor. We did mention the time signature 6 8, which means you're counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, the picking pattern is really straightforward. What we're doing is you're bringing the thumb to the top string. So the thumb is here. Your first finger is on that string. Middle finger is on second string. And your ring finger at the bottom. So if I tilt that ukulele a bit, you can see the picking pattern and the fingers as they're on the strings. And the pinky, you can rest on your ukulele like that. Or you can leave it in the air. We're not too worried about the ukulele. I like the, the pinky on it actually. It actually sort of gives me a sense of resting and a sense of position. It helps me know where I am on the yuki. So slow motion of here, I'm going to call out the string numbers. This being number four, this number number one. So we're going to go four, three, two, one, two, three. And it's actually six beats. You can count the beats one, two, three, four, five, six. But we don't want to do too much of that. We want to count the strings or number the strings as we go through it. So A minor, string 4, string 3, string 2, string 1, string 2, string 3. And with that 6 set, that is one bar. And we need to do most of the chords twice. So you're going to go A minor, just to confirm, there's my A minor chord. I'm then going to afterwards go to a D minor, which looks like that. And we're going to work through to an F, which just simply releases the ring finger. Notice my fingers are numbered, it helps a little bit. And then we're going to go to the C major 7, which we said earlier is basically the third string or third finger gone back to the second fret, or we can simply use the second finger. Okay, let's go. Enough talking, more playing. Okay, I'm going to try and get the both left and right hand into the picture, and here we go. Three and four and D minor. major 7 to F now the B minor 7 that is actually quite a nasty chord it's a little bit of a stretcher it's going to look something like this 
Here's the chord shape, the B minor 7 flat 5. It's quite a scary name. It's going to start off basically with your first finger on the second string of the first fret. Middle finger goes to the third string from the bottom, second fret, and then pinky, this is the difficult part, has to go all the way up to the fourth string, fourth fret, and the ring finger just hangs around. And you do the same picking pattern. Now, also, if you look at the tab, I showed you the C major 7 like this, but we made it a bit more interesting. We did this. Just to sort of imply the C major, and then bring in the 7th note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry, my mistake there. 1, 2, 3. And that sounds pretty sweet as well. And to show you both left and right hands for that chord, we can see the movement over here and the picking pattern. 3 and 4 and C major onto the 7. Just adds a little bit more, and then later, like we said, we've got that B minor 7 flat 5. After that, you've got an E chord, etc. etc. So you should actually have all the tools, all the tips, all the skills. The basic breakdown for what we need to play Parisian walkways. Now I'm going to send through a second video later, which is going to have the second phrase. But first of all, let's get the first phrase in the chords going, and then we can work it further from there. Hope you enjoyed it so far. Enjoy it. Have a cool week. Thank you.